What's up, YouTube? This is True Raw for TV. All right, so before I get into the video, I want to give a big shout out to Legendary Tony for the $4 donation via the Cash App. All right, much respect to Legendary Tony, my homie. Been riding with Too Raw for TV for quite some time. Always see him in the comment section. Always dropping some, some truth bombs in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Always love the support. Shout out to Legendary Tony. And to anybody that wants to show love for Too Raw for TV, you can do so in the links in the description box below via the PayPal or the Cash App. Much respect to all of you showing love. In this video, I want to just once again remind people that while the mainstream media narrative is that it's only Russell Westbrook that commits all these egregious turnovers, I want to remind people that the true turnover king in the past 10 years, the true king, even worse than Russell Westbrook, is James Harden. But because James Harden up until this year used to put up a lot of points, people just, you know, and people are so infatuated with points and threes, they gave him a pass for some reason that they don't give Russell Westbrook because the media, uh, you know, saying attributes skill to being able to shoot threes at at least a 35, 36% clip. If you can do that, then everything else is forgiven. You can have 40 points. You can have, excuse me, you can have 10 turnovers. But if you drop 40 points, well, people kind of, you know, let it ride. You know what I'm saying? But if you have nine turnovers and you have 30 points, but you shoot, you know, nine for 20, and it's not, you know, uh, uh, you're not bombing away from three and doing it like Steph Curry or you're doing it like Dame Litter, then people have a problem with that. But that's the thing. James Harden right now leads the NBA in, turtle, in total turnovers and turnovers per game, right? Right now, he's averaging over five turnovers per game. Now, when Russ was doing all his fucking up, and rightfully so, the media was pointing that out that he was leading the NBA in turnovers, right? But Russ has done a much better job of cutting back on his turnovers. He was at one point averaging six turnovers a game, which is absolutely disgusting. He's brought it down to 4.6. It's still too high, in my opinion. It should be under four. But at least he's brought it down. He's been taking care of the basketball better. James Harden has gotten worse. James Harden was averaging four turnovers. Now he's averaging over five. But does the media bring it up? Nope. If this continues, right, if this continues, this will be the seventh season in his career that James Harden has led the NBA in, turn in total turnovers. The seventh, seventh most in the NBA history by far. But they'll tell you the turnover king is Russell Westbrook. Now, while it is true that Russell Westbrook has the highest turnover per game average at 4.1 a game. James Harden's at 3.7. But this is the trick about this. James Harden wasn't a starter at the beginning of his career. If you go back to when he became a full-time starter, which is the last 10 years, James Harden has averaged almost four and a half turnovers per game, which would be number one all time. So why am I making this video? I'm not excusing Russell Westbrook. He is a turnover machine. But my goodness, if, if James Hart, if, if Russell Westbrook is the turnover king, then James Harden must be the emperor of turnover land. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if Russell Westbrook was the Bill Gates of turnovers. James Harden is goddamn Elon Musk or some shit. Jeff Bezos, because goddamn, but but nobody, nobody wants to penalize him for that. You know, look, the Nets got a better record. 
then that's just doing a bad job of beating bad teams. But I'll tell you this, too. Russell Westbrook, as the third option, is putting up similar, if not better, numbers than James Harden is as the second option. And people will say, well, James Harden is better. I mean, that's debatable. But uh, they've been to the same amount of finals. 2001, that was in 2012, both of them. Uh, it is true that Magic Johnson said that he had he saw Russell with the worst point guard play ever. But in that same finals, James Harden shot 19% from the floor. And in my mind, I remember more memorable fuck-ups for James Harden as far as turnovers in the playoffs than Russell Westbrook. I mean, like, disgusting late-game turnovers. Like, like, inexplicable shit. So... I just think people need to call. I think people just need to call that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Um, James, he just gets these passes. I don't understand why. <coughs> he hasn't won a title. All he did was score a lot of fucking points. Um, never, never went to a finals as the lead dog. Um, I just don't get it. I don't understand it, man. I don't understand why James Harden gets so many fucking passes from the mainstream media for every fucking thing. He's inefficient. He shoots 41% from the floor. Last I checked, he was 36% from three. He shoots free throws well. And that's the main strength that he has. Being able to get to the line, trick and manipulate officials to get to the line. He shoots him at a high clip, so he gets a lot of his points from the free throw line. When he doesn't get to the free throw line, he cries and whines and complains. Because that's his bread and butter. All right? Then he gets a lot of unforced turnovers. A lot of stupid, like just dumb turnovers. Just like Russell Rush. So I don't understand. The only difference between the two is that James Harden can shoot the rock a lot better. But everything else is similar. And in some ways, James Harden is even worse. James Harden is trying to replicate what Russell Westbrook did. In some ways, you know what? You could argue that Russell Westbrook was better than him. I'm going to tell you why. Kevin Durant is doing all of the main lifting as far as scoring, right? Right? Now, when Russell Westbrook was playing with Kevin Durant, Russ was still able to average 27, 28 points a game. He was still able to get his triple doubles playing with Kevin Durant. Why is James Harden so, what, what's, what's causing him to struggle so much? Russell's still getting his playing with Kevin Durant. <clears throat> and, and if he's playing at the, if he's like in a mindset where, okay, I don't have to focus so much on scoring, I can do the other things, a la get triple doubles, then why you not averaging triple double like Russ did? Russ was doing that shit in his sleep. If he was okay, let's say he was a stat pad. Okay, he was still able to do that shit by the third quarter. He'd have a triple double by the third quarter when he was focusing on doing that shit. So to me, man, you can make an argument that Russell Westbrook was better than him at one point. At least as far as impacting the game. James Harden can impact the game in one fucking way, well, a couple ways. He can score 
And, you know, he can facilitate to an extent, man, but uh, dude overrated, man. He's overrated as fuck, man. And, and, and it's just, it just aggravated me, like I said, man, because I understand why people get on Russell Westbrook. But this nigga James Harden gets the absolute biggest passes I've ever seen in my life. Unbelievable. 